All right, everyone. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, getting back into the gun video swing, I have my 2019 AES-10B. Uh, I, I am very happy with this weapon. I have tricked it out with some uh, wood that I refinished. Is that laminate uh, Romanian uh, PM64 wood. I had to do a little bit of modification to the handguard and other than that, went on great. I like the way it looks. Um, but I actually originally had wanted to do a polymer sporter set for this big gun. I think thumbhole stocks on long barreled rifles look really cool uh, just for uh, uh, as far as the aesthetics. And I've never had an issue with like com block style thumbhole stuff. Um, it just never bothered me. So I wanted to get a thumbhole style stock for the back here. Um, I went after a polymer one and I talked to Misha from Mishiko channel and he said it might be like a Hungarian uh, polymer stock because it did not fit this receiver at all. <laughs> the the uh, hang, the grip was too far back. The holes were not in the right spot for the tang. It was just like, ah, oh, this is too bad. So I went and picked up the uh, laminate set. Now, um, I've seen Zeke shoot has uh, Zeke shoots. Uh, if you haven't seen his channel, go subscribe. Um, he has a uh, gun that he does drop tests with, and he calls it the drop gun. And that gun has a PSL looking. It's a PSL style AKM buttstock. It's like a sporter thumb hole buttstock, but it looks just like the PSL buttstock. I've been looking for a laminate version of that <clears throat> for uh, since I've had this gun. So uh, I did some asking around. I, I asked Zeke what kind of buttstock that was, and he says it came off of an SAR-1 or an SAR series of AK. Uh, so I knew where to start. Um, I asked around, and I finally contacted Misha from Mishiko, and I said, hey, do you have any uh, SAR series PSL style AKM butt stocks lying around uh, that you would mind selling me? And uh, he, he, uh, he said, yeah, uh, so I, I contacted him, and uh, basically I, uh, he, just, he sent it out, and I just got it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it now. I'm going to jump off my chair. <laughs> And uh, so he sent it in this box. Uh, it's got the address and stuff on the other side. I'm not going to show you. But underneath here is the stock. So I'll show you. Uh, this is the uh, laminate stock. I didn't want the maple new 2019 PSL stock because I think it's the it's not really worth putting on a gun. Um, so this is uh, this is really cool. It has a sling swivel right in, the, in here. That it, this still has a Cosmoline on it. it. It's still a little bit greased. Um, he said what he said. What Misa sh said was uh, this came off of a rifle he did a conversion on, or he did a gunsmithing project on. He just laid the buttstock down and never did anything with it. So it's still in like pristine condition for. Uh, uh, AK part. Um, this is pretty old and not used at all. So that's really cool. Um, it's exactly what I've been looking for. Uh, it's got this fat stubby grip. That's really nice. It feels good in my hand. Uh, I don't know. It just I just like the way it feels. Uh, I might cut into it and just take a little bit off the width here before I stick it on the gun. But other than that, it's it's a really nice, really nice condition uh, stock. It's got this like Bakelite uh, end cap for the grip. Uh, it's got this big cut for the receiver to fit slide in. Uh, you can see this the tank screws are go in there. Uh, the sling swivel already. It still has it has Misha's cat hairs on it. Like his cats have been calling on this. That's hilarious. You see his cats in this video all the time. Uh, this is a steel butt plate, actually. It's like a, it's steel. It's not polymer or rubber or whatever. It's actually like a stamped piece of steel that's pinned into it. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. So I'll go ahead and lay this on here and show you what this will look like so you can get a better idea. And I'm back up. So that's kind of what I was going for originally, but in polymer. But that's really, really cool, at least for my taste. Um, uh, and I'll definitely uh, refinish that to make to make it match the red color. Um, 
it won't be that blonde laminate. Um, it's got this uh, this this uh, nut right there that one of your uh, tang screws fits into. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'll try this on and see how it fits on there. And if I really like it, I'll keep it on there. Uh, but if not, I'll just pop my regular butt stack back on there and keep it as it is here. Um, again, I'm. this is kind of what I was going for originally with the gun. Just have a big thumb hole uh, com block stock in the back. But I kind of have the best of both worlds. I have the really beautiful look of the um, Russian red furniture. And I have the sort of PSL sporter stock that I was looking for. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this. I really do like these stocks. I I had a buddy who had like a PSL or a Dragonov or one of those types of guns a long time ago. And uh, I really liked the way the, the grip felt. Uh, I know it seems a little bit funny with this big fat grip here, but when you're shooting, it, it, it doesn't feel bad at all. It, it feels kind of nice. Um, so with that train signaling, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and I hope you're having a good day. Bye.